weeks sometimes we just kind of get together and play whenever it's not like we practice really yeah. we all just literally play like playing against Ivan's Luigi is like an exercise in hell <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Renner's round four yeah whoever wins this I have to play against oh yeah so I want to what I, are you rooting for I don't know because I lost the tray last time and I've lost the bacon last time so there's literally no good answer I wouldn't mind fighting either of them because Trey's my homie and Bacon's a drug dealer. <laughs> so uh, don't incriminate him on the mic like this. Well, it's not an incrimination. Have you seen what he looks like? He's incriminated himself with that damn gas station attendant jacket. <laughs> Bro's good. Hey, you want a cig? You gotta be 21 now to, to buy that to buy that vape. Do you? You have to be 21 now, yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, it's kind of fucked. To vape, vape and smoke, like to to like buy tobacco and stuff. <laughs> I'm a straight edge. <laughs> Alright, well, it's pretty even right now. The one thing I know Bacon says he struggles with against smaller characters is ZSS aerials trying to hit, because they're very precise. They go, like, straight horizontal or straight up. So trying to hit a character that's close to the ground, especially when they crouch, he says that's really difficult for him, but he's making it look kind of effortless right now. Yeah, right now he's not really too hard. Yeah, he's uh, pretty good at, like, using Zare to space out and then sort of, you know, baiting out, like, defensive options. And I'm it's really good for him. Me too, honestly. He must have had some pretty good DI. Or Bacon must have got the wrong. Got yeah. the wrong but so far, so good for Bacon right now. Using. Uh, start, yeah, he was a pretty solid start. And also, it's like a statement. Like, this is, might be how the game goes. So, I think Trey is probably going to have to be less aggressive with his aerials. Be less aggressive. And I'm not kidding. If this is how the, all the games go, like, he, might, he might need to pick his spot. Yeah. He has been filling his with well, he's been making it this far with his Lucas, and I mean, dude, like I said, he destroyed me last time he played. I'm not surprised at all that he'd be using it because he made it really far last time too with Lucas. His Lucas, Lucas is kind of moving. Characters where it's like it's fun to play him because fight, fighting him is not. It can be very annoying, especially when you're always getting like dash backed on. Is he dead? That was a good oh, DI by Trey. Really good he died for that corner. That's what he had to do right there. Nice Ooh. up smash, taking advantage of that invincibility. Really yeah, good on his oh, part. He's off. Yeah, <laughs> he's got maybe, maybe just a little bit. Good on him for doing that. Are you doing homework? Yeah. God, clear. God, clear. I need to do homework, too, honestly. No, I, homework is good, bro. 2D literally would just do his homework. Every time he beat people, he would just go do a homework. Like, <laughs> that's, like, that's a cool... So he wouldn't, so he wouldn't, he wouldn't pop off. He just bust out his laptop and said, I got this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, good, good roll read. Really, that good game's all right. Kind of, I think it's stuff done. Is that... One of the things Lewis does a lot, like, he'll always do that down air to, like, mess people up. The thing is, so if anybody knows about, like, Falco's forward air, that thing has a landing hitbox. And I think Bacon's down air has two hitboxes. One when he lands and one when he hits you while he's in the air. So even if you shield it, everyone always lets go of shield on the second hit. And it always messes them up. I don't know if it shield pokes because they buff people's shields, too, in this app. I don't they think they a lot of people. Yeah, yeah like... It, it, it was a universal... Uh, Oh my, what an up smash catch, dude. He's been doing that twice now. That was really good on his part. Got a little bit of ground to work, but Trey can make this comeback. Yeah, 50% is nothing when Lucas can kind of just combo you with his annoying area. Oh, that might be it, though. He's going to have to make a godlike recovery. Good on him. See, he's got to deal with the spacing by uh, Lewis. That might be it, though, if he doesn't DI. DI? Oh, close. Very close on his part. Good first game. I'm super surprised I killed him, actually, considering the last stock. I think if he's either going to stick with Lucas or he's going to play Rob, because everybody knows his Rob's literally his best character or his second best, because his Lucas, like I said, destroyed me, and he's been basically just murking everybody with him. So clearly he knows what he's doing, but I wouldn't be surprised to see a character swap or swap, or swap to, to Rob, because his, his Rob is pretty disgusting. Well, he's committed. He's in winners too. He's got time to work with, and also that game was pretty close. Like it's not yeah. like he feels like he's pressured yeah, right now. Was kind of rough, but he, he got a feel for the match, and he got a feel for playing against Bacon. Right. He picks the stage. Trey tells me he actually likes this stage because he can kill people early, and he gets a lot of shenanigans with the like the ledge mechanics. So I would not be surprised to see him try to carry people off those platforms, and also try to kill early with smash tags. He was getting so much mileage off of catching jumps with that up smash, like right there. He tried to do it. And just like I said, like maybe Bacon needs to use less flip kick in those situations because it seems like he's kind of getting predicted now, and it's only a matter of time before he gets caught in it. And also the fact that, right, the fact that uh, Trey gets invincibility off that up smash for a few frames is really good against ZSS, who's you know flip kick kind of oppresses people and gets her at a disadvantage. It might be very useful for him. Yeah. 
I do like the use of Zare. Yes, the Zare is basically what keeps Bacon alive sometimes in matchups where he finds characters that have annoying aerials and dashback because he can hold his space down and basically wall people out. And it's really good to bait defensive or aggressive options, and he can just, you know, follow the punish through with that. Yeah. Um, I cannot believe he missed that, but that's great for Trey right there. Ooh, Ooh Trey almost. Ooh, that was really good. That falling aerial right there into the auto cancel. Yeah, really good on his part. Trey seems to be adapting this. He's trying to be a little bit less aggressive with these arrows. He definitely knows he's getting punished for going in. Ooh, yeah, he loves doing that dash back side B. It catches so many people. The thing is, with Lucas being so tiny and Trey being so prone to shield, it might not be as effective as he wanted it to be. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, those out of shield like uh, situations are really good for Lucas, considering his aerials come out so quick and they cover a lot of distance. Even his, I believe that was his down smash, literally covered behind him and in front of him. Mm -hmm. So like he has a lot of options to get out of shield that cover so many different ways out. Is that gonna be a kill? Yeah. Well, Trey's been can do this. He's made a comeback before. I can totally see him doing this. This is definitely doable. No, I think uh, Bacon's gonna start looking for a back throw flip click here to get a easy cheesy kill. He's gonna roll. Is he gonna roll behind? Oh, and that's the set. Good game, see ya, everybody. Bacon basically just kind of played around his spacing and forced him on the defensive, which Trey's usually used to being defensive.